Generally speaking, sandbagging is where a buyer files suit or brings an indemnity claim based on seller breaches that are known by the buyer before closing, which are oftentimes discovered during the buyer's due diligence. M&A definitive agreements can contain anti or pro sandbagging provisions, or they can remain silent on the issue. A pro sandbagging provision can provide that the buyer's claims against the seller will not be affected by whether or not the buyer had knowledge prior to closing of the facts or circumstances giving rise to those claims. An example of this could be where the parties are almost finished with due diligence and are actually preparing for closing, and the seller decides to provide a significant amount of information in the due diligence room. The buyer, eager to close, discovers material information that can make representation that the seller has made in that definitive agreement false or inaccurate. The buyer decides that either they don't have enough information to make an informed decision or whether there will actually be damages for this breach, so they decide to close. By closing, the buyer then retains its rights to bring a claim later if, if, in fact, the losses turn out to be material. In this case, the buyer would not be prohibited from bringing an indemnification claim for breach of a representation after closing, even though they knew or discovered the information prior to closing. Essentially, this, is, this type of provision places the burden on the party making the representation to ensure that the representations in that agreement are accurate. On the other hand, an anti-sandbagging provision would prohibit the buyer from bringing the claim by limiting the buyer's ability to seek recourse on those matters that the buyer knew about before closing. This type of provision basically shifts the burden to the party who had the knowledge. Oftentimes, definitive agreements are silent on this issue because this is usually one of the last issues that the parties negotiate. Rather than debate the issue, the parties can rely on the law chosen to govern the definitive agreement to control this issue. This could be risky depending upon which state law is chosen to govern the agreement. This could turn on whether the state law requires reliance on the truth of the representation in order for the buyer to recover under the breach claim which may be difficult to do. In Texas, for example, buyers are likely to be required to prove they relied on the representation or warranty in order to bring a claim for breach of an express warranty. Texas courts have found that buyers can't reasonably rely on misstatements that they knew were false. Indemnification provisions are often the most heavily negotiated provisions in definitive agreements in M&A transactions. On the other hand, disputes concerning sandbagging issues can oftentimes be the most contentious and costly to, to resolve. Rather than rely on state law to govern the rights of the parties, parties should take the time to perform detailed due diligence, fully negotiate the sandbagging issues prior to closing in order to avoid the costly disputes following closing the deal.